trying to be pulled up. Oh no, way I told you from the gate that I wasn't trying to be. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm trying to look for a good angle. It's your girl Nalo here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Thank you for tuning in to watch this video, this vlog. Thank you for rocking with me. If this is your first time, and those of you keep coming back. All right, guys. I know I'm looking ruggedy right now, <laughs> but I'm on my way to go braid my hair. You guys, the weather. The weather is weathering. <laughs> the sun is so hot that you know if you if you wear if you wear wig like I would lay my wig and literally before I leave the house the wig don't shift so I was like uh uh I can't deal with this you know let me just go braid my hair so that you know I don't have to worry about wigs and all so that's what I'm about to go do my hairdresser just called me and said I should start coming so I thought I'll start this vlog, you know, today and yeah, take you guys to go make my hair, braid my hair and yeah, welcome to the week, this week's vlog. That pussy put him in his feelings Cause that thing hitting right though I never said that I would spend the night though Now why you mad for? You know how it going If I ever wrote I love you shit That must have been a typo Now you know iPhone series She be correcting niggas You write a message It be different by the time you send it Now why you acting? Boy you knew I was savage I told you from the gate You could taste You can't have it Then I considered your feelings And then walk out on you But I'm a tip top Right up at your back Oh, baby, now. What's with hey all the attitude? So, I finished making my hair yesterday, but I'm going to have it in a bun for the rest of this week. So I'm currently at um, CK Maxx. I just came to buy some skincare products. The thing though is that I have some time to spare. I want to get to the library to drop off some books that I picked up and the library doesn't open till 9 30 so i was like okay let me come and do some quick shopping i've dropped off the kids so i couldn't um vlog much yesterday because we finished making the hair at six o'clock even mean, this wasn't the color that i wanted to go for but some things happened but anyways i just wanted to start the vlog here and i'm gonna chat with you guys soon put a smile on honesty is good for you you really bugging you mad for nothing, I told you from the gate that I wasn't trying to be pulled up uh -huh. Boy, I told you from the gate that I wasn't trying to be Now you know damn well we ain't on that level You post a glim and no messages to whoever So full of pride that you can't even decide If you wanna walk out or pull them to the side You wanna get in that ooey gooey, boy, don't you? Don't wanna leave though, ooh, that's where you lost me Hey guys, so today is um, an Ajala travel kind of day. <laughs> we are, I'm a Blue Water shopping mall. I want to get to Zara and quickly do like a quick, uh, Andre Creek, uh, what's new in Zara kind of video. So that's the plan for today. I don't have any makeup on or anything, but I mean, I don't have a lot of time. Next week is going to be very busy for me because I'm going to be having my stepkids over so I won't really have a lot of time so today in fact this is the only day I have time so I decided to you know pop in not priority now you know I wouldn't pass up a good thing I suggest that you take it for what it is babe when I pull up I'm not parking it in your driveway they don't gotta know that I be at where you stay but I considered your feelings when you held on to me had the courtesy to wait until you fell asleep Baby, be happy you got a piece of 
of me. Feel special, nigga. I don't do this usually. So why you bugging? You mad for nothing. I told you from the gate that I was. Hey guys. So today's Saturday and the Mecca has Mecca is actually on his way back now. He went to Germany to bring the girls. The girls are my stepdaughters, you guys. You see them. One is about she's gonna be 18 this year and the other one should be like 14, 15, I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, so they're on their way. And I oh my god, I've left my pantry open. Please ignore that pantry, okay? Yeah, so um, they're on their way back and mama is in the kitchen. This is close that pantry, Joe. Mama is in the kitchen, you know, trying to whip up. I'm trying to make jello fries actually because um, yeah, they love jello fries and they also love um, okra soup. So you guys, send help, send strength, send energy because your guy is going to be doing a lot of cooking this period that they're going to be around. But it's fine, like, I, you know, I enjoy it when they're around. They're actually really lovely girls and they don't stress me. So yes, I'm looking forward to them coming. They're also grown-up girls. So it's not like I'm babysitting anymore. And even when they were little, when they used to come. They are very, very, you know, very lovely girls. And you guys, today we are also going to IFAC. IFAC is Igbo Festival of Arts and Culture. <laughs> So yes, I need to quickly cook and then get us ready to leave the house, you guys. Mecca has told me so many times that by the time he comes back, he doesn't want when he comes back. That's when I'm just starting to cook because the food is not ready. He said, let the food be ready so that once we come back, we eat, we head out, you know, we go to iPad. So yes, your girl is going to hurry. <laughs> So I'm not going, to, not going to do a lot of cheap chat. I'm just going to try and hurry up and I'll talk to you guys when we're getting ready for iPad. You guys, the iPad here, eh? I really wish that I had, you know, like Nigerian, uh, maybe Ankara or, you know, some other Nigerian fabric that me and my girls would have worn, you know, like something to represent, you know, Igbo culture. Not even Nigerian, but Igbo, Igbo culture itself. But I don't have anything. So we're just going to wear our normal outfits. Anyway, I'll see you guys when we're getting ready, okay? I'll talk to you guys when we're getting ready. So guys, I am live at IPAC, Igbo Festival of Arts and Culture. As you can see, we have so many Igbo people gathered here today. Um, as far as I'm concerned, if you are an Igbo person living in the UK, and you know you'd like to mingle with other Igbo people, this is the event for you. Is, is this that woman in your school? No, yeah, that's no, she's not the one. That, okay, no, she's not the one. I thought it was someone. I've, I've actually seen, um, I saw, I met one of my colleagues, my old colleague in, in Lagos, Nigeria. They've relocated here. I met her. So, yeah, if you if you're an if you're Igbo and you live in the UK, and let me tell you guys something, yeah, if you are a young girl and you want to get married to an Igbo man, or even anywhere you want to get married to an Igbo man, this is the event for you. Make sure you come here. Guys, I'm here with my my handsome nephew. Who remembers MJ? Huh? When MJ was a baby. <laughs> if, you, if you guys remember MJ when he was little, look at MJ now. He's almost as tall as I am. See how these kids grow. And we've got the beautiful Nonye here. <laughs> He's our cousin. The you guys will meet my stepkids. They are strolling around. They've made friends. You know how teenagers can be. They've made friends. Once um, they come around, I will uh, introduce you guys to them. Oh, 
Guys, the event has come to an end, and now we're about to take um, a family photo before we go. Guys, meet Ola. Ola, say hello to Ola. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Ola. Ola is the eldest. Yes. <laughs> right, oh yeah, now let's take a um, photo, right? <laughs> let's take photo before I start grumbling. <laughs> and <laughs> Say hello. Hello. Let's take pictures. Let's take Let's take pictures. Let's take pictures. Let's take pictures. Let's take pictures. Let's Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay, I, I would you know you got more somebody against her because you know. guys it's Monday and we're now waiting to go pick up Nonye and Zizi from school and I've got their big sisters here with them. <laughs> the whole school is going to be it's, Nonye has probably told all her friends that her sisters are coming to pick her up today. <laughs> I'm sure they will, she will be so excited to have them. So guys, today I've actually left a bit. I've not left, you know, leaving until it's so late. Hopefully, even if we miss one bus, we should be able to catch the next one and get there on time. 